doing an excellent job of staying right up behind him, keep, right up behind him, keeping the pressure on despite the high speeds. Yeah, we certainly hope that he uh, stays uh, at, at least a decent speed through these uh, residential neighborhoods. Um, what he's right now on Polk Street, so he's kind of out of that residential area, or the, at least the little tiny streets. Yeah, he's on Polk Street, now on the wrong side of the street, now another left. These appear to be fairly random turns. They certainly could be mistaken about that if he happens to be familiar with this area. It's certainly a possibility. But just from my vantage point, these are, doesn't really appear to have a certain destination in mind. These appear to be random turns, weak attempts to lose the CHP at best. Uh, but we'll see where he ends up here. Or possibly maybe just looking for a hiding spot to dump the vehicle and uh, bail out on foot. But we'll see what happens here. Still going very fast for a oh, residential neighborhood. You can see that uh, that bump in the road there causing some sparks as that bumper scraped the pavement. And he is really flying. We'll go ahead and throw up our real-time speed tracker down Gladstone Avenue at 50 to 60 miles per hour, a street that can't be more than a 30 to 35 minutes, uh, 35 miles per hour mile per hour speed limit. These wild turns through these red lights are continuing very erratic behavior, doing almost a complete loop through the Silmar area. We are very close to Whiteman Airport near Pacoima, and he is now on Hubbard Street crossing Fenton Avenue. Uh, a word of warning to people who live in the area. You know, people uh, who are being pursued sometimes will foot bail, sometimes will end up trying to get into your home. So if you're watching this newscast and if you live in the area as he blows through that stoplight there at Hubbard and Eldridge, uh, keep your windows closed, keep your doors locked, and uh, just hunker down because we don't know who is behind the wheel of this vehicle. We know he's pretty uh, desperate, pretty erratic in his behavior and uh, is willing to risk it all, it appears. So we don't want him risking anything with you. Now, as we say that, passing through this residential area does seem to be slowing down, but the, the movements are strange. Where is he now? What like is this? Is this a parking lot. lot? Into a parking lot here. I'm not sure if this is a school. It might be a school. Uh, unclear. We'll try and get a sign here in a second. But now doing a loop around this parking lot, he may have boxed himself in, pulling into a spot, and he may be willing to give it up right here, deciding that it was, uh, he's all deciding he's either had enough or maybe that gas tank was running low. Here comes the arms and hands out of the driver's side window, the driver's side door coming open and the driver getting out of the vehicle does not appear to be anybody else in the passenger seat. They'll still have to go through and clear the vehicle, but it looks like he is willing to comply here. Yeah. He's now obeying the commands, turning around and now they're asking him to turn back around, keep his hands up in the air, step slowly towards the police officers who have their guns out, guns drawn, making sure this guy doesn't pull a fast one. But it does look like he is giving up peacefully. This one is ending about as safely as one could have possibly imagined, considering the very dangerous high speeds we've been watching over the last 20 minutes. Yeah, note, uh, as our director, uh, Mike Gilbert, pointed out, the smoking brakes mm -hmm. on that CHP unit that did That's everything right. it could to keep up with them, uh, either smoking brakes or maybe uh, wow. an overheated engine there. So it was... Yeah, those are the brakes. Those are the brakes. That's right. Yeah, turns out just to be a high-speed joyride. Absolutely. Uh, I don't have a landmark just yet. We'll go ahead and widen out and see there is a pool there. It's either a community center. Or it looks like a community center, uh, and it looks like the L.A. County Sheriff's Department now has an airship overhead here. If, the, if it was to continue, they did have an airship available here. CHP also is on the way up here. But it does look like a recreational facility with tennis courts and swimming pools, and it does look like this has come to a safe end. You got it. Welcome woo -hoo, back. Woo -hoo. <laughs> 
That guy was hauling, man. Nice job. Thank you, Lori. Good ear. I think we're good.